Efforts to close the homeless camp on Washtenaw property near I-90 continue, and today Spokane City Council members received an update on that progress. In its presentation this morning, Empire Health Foundation shared the next steps. Crime 2's Amanda Rowley is joining us now live here in the studio with those details. Amanda? Right now, Empire Health Foundation is focusing on two outcomes, closing the camp, but also ensuring there are sufficient housing options for the people still living there. Empire Health's president told C Spokane City Council what it'll take to see it through. The latest aerial images from Washdot show a continually shrinking homeless encampment on its property. Just look at the difference of this week compared to November last year. But there are still steps ahead to completely close up the camp. We got to work together on this issue. Zeke Smith is spearheading Empire Health Foundation's work to get this done. Right now, 124 people are still living at the camp, but Smith says a recent needs assessment revealed some of those individuals don't qualify to stay at local shelters. Some of the individuals have intensive uh, substance use issues that preclude them from uh, being able to participate at the shelters. Uh, some of them have other kinds of medical uh, or mental health needs. He says it's important for community partners to consider this challenge. That's because they'll need to determine what other housing options will best serve those individuals. If we have to wait until we've figured out together how to build out those kinds of options, um, then we're going to have folks at the camp for a long time. Empire Health is under a $3.5 million contract with the state to provide its services at the encampment. Smith says as of December last year, the foundation spent $1.2 million of that contract. That will increase because the first few months it was a bit of a ramp up in cost. In addition to transitioning the remaining people out of the camp, the next steps include making arrangements for the last of the RVs and vehicles, long-term investments in housing and shelter options, and finally removing the fence and temporary structures at the camp. Empire Health's presentation comes about a week after Council President Brian Beggs and a few other council members gathered at the encampment to acknowledge the significant progress by community partners. Amanda Rowley, Crime 2 News.